beautiful people and welcome back to the channel so today we'll be making this beautiful top stay tuned subscribe like comment so we start with our pattern drafting firstly we're measuring the shoulder which we use eight inches because our shoulder my shoulder is 15 which is seven and a half divided by two and then added a half inch so from the shoulder to the bust point we, i use eight and a half inches from the shoulder to the waist which i use 14 and a half inches from the shoulder to the blouse length i use 25 and a half inches but here when i first uh, measured it i used 26 and a half but i realized it was going to be too long so i decided to just take away one inch from the measurements so here we're just um joining our dots together so our measurements will be you know straight then we go to our bust point and we measure its inches then we connect it to our shoulder that we already marked with a straight line and then from there you measure the depth of your armhole which mine is seven and a half so we measure that all around to just get the straight line so the line is not going to be you know bent or slant and curved somewhere so after we've done that we just curve our armhole then we're done with that we measure our neck so we, the depth is one and a half by three which the back is one and a half inches the front is three inches by two so we curve our back and our front measurements so when we're done with that we go to our shoulder and we take away half and quarter inches since our shoulders are not straight they are slant as they go down so when we're done with that we go and take our actual measurements so here we'll be using our me actual measurements plus half inches since the blouse or the top here since the top is the free top so we're going to be having adding two inches round so two inches divided by four is going to be half inches so our measurements plus half inches plus one inch so allowance so that's how we're going to take the measurement for our bust our waist and our blouse lengths the blouse length you're going to be using your hip measurements by the way you use your waist measurements the bust use the bust point to use your bust measurement so here we're just joining our dots together and remember that those points depends on individuals you can use my measurements for another person depending if the person has a smaller bust depending if the person has a bigger bust if you know everything they are all dependent so you have to be very sure before you just take points then from the blouse length i took away one inch at the lower side so the blouse will have a curve effect not just straight so after that we just cut out our pattern and voila we're done so firstly we're cutting the back on our material and when you're cutting since we didn't had the one inch same m um, zipper allowance we'll add it while cutting and then you cut the front you make sure the center of your pattern is aligning with the center of and you make sure it's accurate so you don't make any mistake while you're cutting yeah so when we're done oh, sorry when yeah when, when i'm done i realized the neck was too small so i just shipped it a little bit so here now is the drop the um drip in front of the i don't know what i'm saying drop the drip in front of the blouse yes so here we measured i measured ah uh, i don't know why i'm using we do i measured 38 inches by 15 on your fold that was 7.5 so if you open it 
it's going to be 15 inches but the length here 38 by 15 inches so here we're just trimming the drip out so now we're going for our sleeve which i used 26 inches because i wanted to have a puffy effect at it and i want the lower part to be really full so i my actual um sleeve length is 22 inches but then since i wanted those effects i added four extra inches to it so from the center of the sleeve i measured the 26 inches then at the side of the sleeve i measured i took away four inches so it could give me that puffy effect so when i squeeze it together it's not just going to be shorter at the lower arm so everything is going to be equal so then after i measured that i measured a very free um sleeve length because i wanted it to be very puffy so i used nine inches which is 16 and then at the lower part of the sleeve when you're cutting i just took away half a quarter inch so the sleeve is going to be firm yeah so here now we're taking our drip and we're just hemming the two sides then we've done that already so now we're going to the back we're just going to sew our zip allowance by one inch remember so here we're done with ironed it we just put in our front to the dress so now we take our drip and open up yeah this sleeve so we're going to sorry not just leave the shoulder we're going to be pleating a uh, drip on the shoulders of the top mind you when you're dripping you're going to at both sides the neck and the arm area you're going to leave half a quarter inch so when you're sewing when you're joining the sleeve to the top you're not going to sew on the drip or when you're trying to turn the neck of your top you're not going to sew on the drip so after you've pinned everything down you take it to the machine you join your shoulders and then you join your sides by one inch and then here we're done we've ironed the sides and show and the sleeve um, shoulders and then here we're just opening so we could go and use our ribbon to turn the neck and then we open up the zipper allowance so we could go and m the lower part of the blouse so here we take our sleeve and just sew a straight line by half and then you make sure to always notch the center of your sleeve so you could place it together with the center of the shoulder accurately so here that's what we're doing we're just pinning down the sleeve to the body so the seams will be joined neatly so when we're done we'll take it to the machine and sew it down then i think before we take it to the machine yes we're just going to also hem the lower part so here i'm just showing you that we're going to be putting elastic bands there so here we're already done we have joined the elastic bands the drape and here that's your beautiful top you could make yours so make yours thank you for watching kindly subscribe if you've not subscribed yet bye